Hey guys, it's Chelsea with Stage Right Secrets and I'm here with Corey Smith. How are you? Doing well, how are you doing? Awesome, awesome. Pretty hot outside, but I guess that's what we get for CMA Fest, huh? It always is. Yeah? This is five years in a row for me doing this and it's always hot. Do you have any advice for, I'm a newbie at this? Stay hydrated. Hydrated? Yes. Okay. I've gotten sunscreen too, lots of sunscreen. Lots of sunscreen, especially if, if you have the hairdo that I have. Yeah. <laughs> So you're performing Riverfront today? Yes. Um, can you describe your live show in three words? Lots of fun. Lots of fun. That's like it. For us, at least. Yeah. Well, I mean, I hope the fans are having fun too, but more importantly, we, we try to have fun. Of course. If you have fun, then they definitely will That's have the fun. Idea. So your 10th studio album is coming out on the 23rd, and you actually um, put the production reins over on someone else's table. How? What? How did that process happen? Well, you know, I produced all my earlier records and I just got to a point where I needed help. I kind of hit a glass ceiling. I went into the studio twice to try to make this record and just came up short of, of what I was hoping for and went on a hunt for the right producer and found Keith Stegall who produced uh, the Alan Jackson records and Zach Brown Band and worked with Merle Haggard and George Jones and, and uh, Randy Travis um, and he, he's a phenomenal writer and, and artist in, in his own right uh, and we clicked uh, re really quickly and felt like he was the right choice so uh, I haven't looked back I'm glad I'm glad I did it yeah um, how does this album differ from your older stuff well th that, I think that's the main difference is having somebody that I could turn the reins over to um, and allow me and my band to focus on just performing um, it's still all songs that I wrote by myself I've, I've written every single word every song on all my records um, and, and that's something that's really important to me is I, I want to sing my own songs um, it, it may limit you know what the amount of people I'm able to reach, but I don't really want to do this unless I can sing my thoughts. Right. Um, and I've been fortunate that, that fans have uh, that, that, that my music's resonated with the fans, and it's allowed me to continue doing that. So that was important to keep doing that. It was important for me to, to play with my band, and Keith totally got it. And I have a, I have a great band, and we just used uh, some uh, Nashville players to supplement. You know, I don't have a fiddle player or a pedal steel player, mm -hmm. uh, so we were able to to, to get some A-list uh, players in town to to play over what we did in the studio. That's so cool. And Feet Wet is the first single. Yes. So cool and beachy vibe. Um, what made you pick that as the first single off of the album? I just thought, I thought it was a, a good introduction to the record. Uh, I think it really expresses the mindset that, that I went into uh, the studio with. Mm -hmm. uh, Feet Wet was, I think, the last song I wrote before going into the studio, and it was actually uh, written maybe two weeks before we went in. Um, and you know, it, it's just about about being content. You know, being content without feeling pressure to to jump in head first into something unknown. You know, fans have given me that sort of confidence over the years to just be myself, uh, write what I feel and, and what I know, um, and that, that's the, the mindset that carried me through the whole the whole process. Right. So, um, do you have any plans for the fall to tour? And uh, we're, we're always touring. You always, know, people ask, yeah. oh, "Are you going to tour for the new album?" We're like, yeah, I, I guess. <laughs> we're always we're always touring. We do about 130 dates a year. Okay. Um, so we'll just continue doing that. Any big names that you'll be with? Oh uh, no, I'm I'm the biggest name. Obviously. <laughs> no, I, I I had the pleasure of going out with Darius Rucker uh, mm -hmm. last year, and that's the only time we've ever been on uh, you know a big tour like that. Other than we were on the Country Throwdown tour for a little bit a few years ago, but for the most part. Uh, it's us out there on the road uh, in, in, in the clubs and in some, some small theaters. And right. So, speaking of Darius, he is one of the best known artists to have transitioned over to country music. Um, how has he helped you kind of make that transition as a country artist? Well, for me, I don't feel like I ever transitioned. You know, when I, when I started, uh, you know, I had to pay for all my records myself, and all I could afford was to go in there and, and play my guitar and sing. And if I had money left over, I would add other instruments. So I couldn't think about genre. Uh, I couldn't think about making them sound country or pop or rock. Uh, it was really just acoustic singer-songwriter stuff. Um, but at its core, I always felt like it was country. I mean, I live in the same little town in rural Georgia that, that I grew up in, and I write about my life. So how can it be anything other than, than country? Uh, but as the as the ability to make bigger records has grown, it's allowed uh, the music to maybe fit more into the genre. But it's not something that I've really focused on. You right. Know, trying trying to f to fit the mold, uh, but the, the way you know fate would have it is um, my fans tend to be country fans. Mm -hmm. you know, it makes sense. Yeah. 
and uh, that's why he is Corey Smith, and that's why everyone loves him. So, do you have a dream CMA Fest lineup? A dream CMA Fest lineup? I can't say that I do. I can't say I've, I've ever put any thought into yeah. it. Yeah. Um, I would uh, I would love to play with Willie Nelson again. That would be really cool. Yeah. Um, yeah, that, that would be awesome. You know, I would I would say of all the artists that are that are, are, are I don't know if they're playing it this year, um, but uh, the artists that I've seen here over the years, my favorites are, are Eric Church and the Zach Brown band. So yeah. It'd be, be cool to play a show with those guys. That'd be awesome. Definitely, definitely. All right. So curve ball question. Okay. If you were a tree and you could have anything carved into your trunk, what would it be? Don't chop me down. <laughs> Straight to the point. Yeah. I like it. Leave it works. Alone. It works. So this has been Stage Right Secrets. Um, if you want to follow this guy, go ahead and plug your uh, social media. Corey Smith Music uh, the at, for Twitter. And you just Corey Smith, C-O-R-E-Y. You can e find me out there. E-Y. Yeah. And you can follow us on Twitter at Stage Rights and on Instagram at Stage Right Secrets. Thanks, guys.